And all right, I'm back. We got the good old TRC uh, shield mug here, the Razor Company. Nice little uh, mug with the razor and brush on it. Cheers. I just got some uh, Awake English Breakfast hot tea this morning. Black tea. No sugar this time. Um, we're going to be using hags. <laughs> going to be using this old hag right here. <laughs> uh, hags is an acronym for have a great shave. Um, this scent is called Aftermath, and it's a vegan base. Nice little label. You can see, like, some astronauts unearthing another astronaut who didn't fare too well out there, unfortunately. This is a uh, product of Greece, made in Athens, Greece. Four ounces, an absolute laundry list of ingredients on the side label there. Let's see if we can pick some stuff out. Um... Uh... Anything. I guess there's a lot of shit that looks familiar in here. But a fucking laundry list of ingredients. Nice side label uh, and top label. Waterproof. It's in this kind of uh, low profile, wide mouth jar that everybody seems to love. It uh, has some milk chocolate brown type color to it and it is a wonderful scent inspired by uh, Amwaj's Interlude Man. And so it is a cologne dupe, wonderful scent right there. I got it nice and lathered up in my Thirsty Badger shaving bowl right here. Very nice product out of Canada. Very nice shave bowl right there. And then the brush for today is gonna be my Turn and Shave Custom. And this one right here I call Famine. It's part of my Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse collection. And Famine, of course, arrived on a black horse. So that's why we got the black top and the black dyed wood on the bottom. And this has a hand-tied M2 uh, Badger Knot on top. So that is what we're going to be using today. Let's go ahead and get right into it by wetting the face and getting some lather on. Hope everybody's doing well. It's a nice Sunday morning out there. A little bit overcast, but it's kind of the way I like it. I like it cool, cloudy. That's the way I like it. Mm -hmm. And this scent is actually perfect for this kind of weather. It's funny, it gives me kind of gourmand vibes, but it doesn't really have a scent list that would support that. Um, that thought there. The scent notes are top notes of oregano, pepper, bergamot, mid notes, excuse me, of incense, opopanox, amber, and labdanum, and then in base notes of leather, argarwood, oud, sandalwood, and patchouli. So it is quite a warm scent. I wouldn't call it dark though. But it's quite a warm, comforting type scent. And the kind of woody, maybe, maybe earthy, but there's also a sweetness to it as well. And I really like the vibe of this one. Really smells good in my opinion. The uh, soap is a firmer soap, vegan base, as I mentioned before. It's a little bit firmer and I loaded kind of heavy maybe just a hair heavier than normal just because I've never used this soap base before and this uh, super dense hand tied badger knot is known to kind of eat a little bit of lather um, on my in my experience with it so I just went ahead and loaded heavy just to play it safe but it lathered up really easily and I definitely got plenty of lather for the shave so everything seems to have worked out appropriately it seems to have made a kind of low structure high density lather so it seems like real good stuff this hags 
and I think it's gonna I think it's gonna fare well in the greater um, artisan wet shaving world there. All right. Today we're going to be revisiting the traditional Kamasuri right here. And this one um, was honed by Frank from Strike Old Shave. So this will be my second use of this uh, edge here. Let's just see how it goes. The first one I had a very nice shave with it. Kind of a kind of a awkward experience where it was like sometimes it felt very sharp, very smooth. And then at other times it kind of felt a little not so sharp. It never came to the point where it didn't feel smooth, but there were times that it felt like not so sharp. I only have one day's growth today, so it's not, doesn't got much of a of a job to do. We'll just see how it goes. So far so good. I'm not experiencing any sort of any sort of uh, pulling or tugging. So that's good. This is with the grain though. I remember on my first use of this edge, just a few days ago, I uh, I mentioned that it kind of felt like it was more tuggy with the grain than it was against the grain, which totally doesn't make sense, and I, <laughs> I realize that. All right. So far, so good. I mean, absolutely nothing out of place so far. Everything feels like it's right on the money. Feels very smooth. Maybe I was just using like improper um, technique, using the wrong angle or something like that. Sorry, the uh, nose was a little bit itchy there. Let's try to get a get a grip on this thing. Slickness seems to be right on point. Absolutely no problems there. All right. <clears throat> Definitely getting to a, a place where I'm familiar with different Kamasuri grips is going to be something that I need to work on. But so far so good in this shave. Everything's going well. I gotta admit there's something about this Hags that I just like. I I think it's the name <laughs> or the acronym Hags that just uh, kind of brings a smile to my face. Uh, it's just a funny fucking acronym. Hags. <laughs> um, but real good soap. Um, and I haven't tried an Amouage scent that I haven't liked yet. Uh, every single dupe of Amouage that I've came across, I've liked them all. And this one is no exception. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and dip the tips in some water and kind of distribute that through the remaining lather and we will get into this second pass here which is against the grain Ooh, did I tag myself right there little uh little red memory line right there hmm. okay well shit happens didn't even fucking realize that. I must have came in a little bit uh, too fast or something like that. No bother. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. The scent strength on this one is just above medium. I would consider this 
entry level bold and banging. It's definitely there to be enjoyed. I'm not I'm not searching for it from uh between passes. It's it's there. It's it's there. It's prominent. I don't gotta go looking for it. This would be a great scent to wear like cold weather. Um shit like that. Cold weather or nighttime. I think this one would do really well in those situations. It does kind of have, like I, I would personally wear this in almost every scenario, um, personally. I would wear this shit to work. I would wear this on a date. I would wear this just casually, lounging, I don't give a damn. This, it's a wonderful scent. Paint that blood into the lather. <laughs> And, oh, I don't know if I showed the back, but uh, it actually has the scent notes on the back, as well as the vegan base, and intensity, and I think that's what uh, their scent strength, they call it intensity. So, interesting stuff there. It's a, it's a import to the U.S., so the price is $24 for four ounces vegan base. So take that for what you will. Kind of... Uh, Kind of spendy, but you know what? With with all the stuff that we have today, I think uh, if you wanted to spoil yourself and try this, you wouldn't be let down. All right. And see this part right here, going against the grain, it kind of did feel like, like it was just not as smooth. Like it's still getting the job done, but it kind of gives me the feeling that I'm having to muscle through it just a little. Last time I used this, I didn't have any uh, irritation after the shave. So I was happy about that. And see, all of this, like this portion, smooth. I'm not feeling like I'm having to muscle through that. It was like just right here. So I wonder if like one side of the blade is maybe like not as keen as the other or maybe my fucking angle was just off but it's like in that one spot it's like I felt a little bit more like I had to muscle it a little bit the whole first pass felt all right and this bottom half where I'm working on my neck has felt all right so far it was just kind of like right up there let's see let's try this Hmm. Kamsuris are definitely an interesting design here. I definitely admit to my novice level. Definitely inexperienced with these vintage commies, but uh, you know what? Practice makes perfect, and so that's what we are trying to do here right now. Hmm. The grips is what I really need to work on. Getting like an appropriate grip. See, like, reaching across my body like that, I don't know if that's proper. I 
I do feel like I'm in control of the razor. You know what I mean? Like I don't feel, I don't feel like it's a little bit uh, loose and unwieldy. I do feel like I'm in control, but it's just, for whatever reason, my mind is telling me like something about this isn't proper. <laughs> if you're a, if you're a commissary expert, definitely feel free to leave some tips in the, um, in the comments section. And I'm going to have to do some more research on my own about commissary technique. Problem is, is that... I say that now, but then I don't end up doing it on my downtime. All right. Well, second go with that edge, I think, was a little bit better than the first go. I only had that one spot that really kind of felt like I had to muscle through some of the growth. Other than that, it felt pretty damn smooth, no problems. And my first go with hags. <laughs> Uh, was actually a really positive experience. The soap gave me everything that I needed it to. And uh, no complaints there. I picked it up at uh, the Razor Company. I think they're all sold out at this moment. But I'm sure they will restock. And it's a brand that I'm going to be keeping my eye on in the future. Uh, for future offerings. Because I really like the... Uh, the complete package of hags from the name to the labeling the art on their labels is very nice uh, it has all the necessary information on the package and uh, nothing really negative to say about it the scent was great <sighs> so positive experience nice Sunday shave we did get ourselves right here I think I'm gonna hit that with some alum just just cuz <clears throat> let's go ahead and uh, got my Lancaster razor works towel right here I hope you guys have a good weekend or a good Sunday since we're all the way to the Sunday now hope you guys have a good Sunday I know some of you are getting some snow so Enjoy the snow if you can, and be safe if you can't. <laughs> All right. Trying to get the majority of this out of the beard. All that. Hags won't let go. All right. Let's, uh, I'm going to put on a little bit of this home-like shaving alum stick right here. Just going to put a little bit of that right over this. And hopefully that takes care of that. All right. Put that back over here. Let me give that a quick pat down. All right. And I didn't actually grab an aftershave for this. So I think I'll just leave it there. And I'll figure something out off camera. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll catch you on the next one.